What's up everybody? This is Rob Shack. So today we're doing the next video in my Gran Turismo 3 Rivals series. We are going to be doing the Lotus Elise 190 versus the Motorsport Elise. So be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Help me get to 1,000 subs. Hope to get there by the end of the year. And as of right now, only 8% of my viewers are subs. So we'd like that to be higher. But anyway, if you're new to the channel, what we're doing today is the Rivals series I've been doing for a while now. I just basically pick cars that are similar in stats and speed and stuff like that and then drive them around on Complex Stream, which is the very unique course only in Gran Turismo 3, and it's just the license test compiled in a course. And then I will drive the cars on this course, talk about them, talk about their stats, talk about which ones I think are the best, and then from there, we will do an AI race with them, and it's a lot of fun. So, um, yeah, we are doing the Lotuses today. Uh, this is the Lotus Elise 190, which sounds a lot like a... Um, a spree, honestly. A uh, very lightweight car, so even though it has like absolutely no power, it's surprisingly quick because it weighs nothing. I mean, Lotuses are very renowned for being extremely light, which is hilarious, and also really crappy, but that's you don't see that part of it in uh, this game. So yeah, this is the Lotus Elise 190. Very iconic car in a lot of the I think it's one of the fastest Elise's like kind of ever, apart from the Motorsport Elise st at stock. But like they've been making Elise's for a long time, and I'm pretty sure this one is still one of the fastest ones because it has that 190 horsepower engine, which is why they called it the Elise 190. So as you'll start to realize with these cars, in a similar vein to the video I did, the last video I did in the series, both the Elise's are going to be kind of insane in terms of handling. These cars are really out of control. It's hilarious. They're very fun to drive once you've kind of played a lot of Gran Turismo and you kind of get the feel for that current game's mechanics. Because these cars are always wild. Every single time you drive them, they are wild. And obviously the slight changes to the engine in the games will make the car feel very different. But once you get used to the way cars drive in this game, you'll drive this car and be like, is this thing even like, are my hand, uh, uh, like assistance is off or on or why is the car spinning every time I hit anything and it's like that's just what Lotuses do they are just out of control cars and they're pretty fun so uh, yeah it's a good time very wild cars uh, and so um, the Elises are always crazy I think that's what I was just saying and they're very fun to drive they're very enjoyable because you kind of start to get used to the handling of these cars they're very fun, <laughs> and they have no actual horsepower. They very, they're very low in power, but they have a lot of um, a lot of. Uh, they're so light that they have so much handling, and it's like, or not handling. They're, they're so light that they can just kind of fly way better than if uh, like than any other situation. They're they're very efficient with their power. I'll say that. Um, I think the uh, the way that I'll kind of I would have always said about these rival series is usually the way Polyphony did this was because with Gran Turismo 3 they just didn't have a lot of time to make a million cars for this game because they work on the engine and I would say that it's 100% worth it so what they did to kind of make the game replayable was have cars of similar power and abilities kind of race each other a lot in certain races which I liked that they did that it was very efficient with their um everything <laughs> so I'm pumped about that and so what that ended up inspiring was the series where basically you realize that certain cars always battle and so uh, the Elise 190 and the Motorsport Elise are pretty similar in their stats stock I think the Elise has what the Motorsport Elise has 200 and the Elise 190 has 190 obviously and so you realize that they are just extremely similar in every way um, I would say that the uh, Motorsport Elise probably has a little bit more power and it probably has a little bit more handling because it's more of a racing version of the car. But, you know, the efficiency of the power goes 100% to the motor, to the, lower, the Motorsport Elise 190 because it has way less power fully tuned and it can still pretty do a pretty good job of staying decently close. Um, tight technical circuits would probably actually favor the Elise 190. The Motorsport Elise still does have a lot of handling, but it's just... The fact that the Sport 190 does have a little bit more of a slide to it, you can kind of use that to your advantage when you're as a more seasoned driver on like the, cur the current game that you're playing. The Elise 190 can just, you can really, it's predictable in its slide, which 
that is something that's kind of cool about these cards that have lower handling is once you kind of get the once you kind of get used to them then you can actually have a lot of fun like you can be surprisingly good with the car and people will not expect it and it's pretty cool so i like the um two lotuses they are hilarious in their uh the way that their handling works, the AI don't seem to handle them very well. They are very slidey, and the AI does not seem to like that. And so you'll see in a second when I do the AI battle, I'll show the uh, way the AI handle it. It's pretty funny, and you'll you'll see it. So it's kind of one of my races where I do an AI fail on. That's kind of the way I do this. Is I, I kind of base this series off of similar cars in the game, but also races that would be entertaining when I do the AI battles. Even if it's not the two cars that I'm comparing, there's a race that I have in mind for this. So, once we get through this lap, we'll get to the, uh, we'll switch over to the Motorsport Elise and do the same thing. Kind of have a similar thought process here. I mean, this car is like 200 horsepower and it's just accelerates. Look at this, it just keeps accelerating, just keeps going. That's what I like about the motor, the, lower, the Elise 190 is it's just like super good with the efficiency, efficiency of its power. And now as I drive off the road, I will stop this video and go to, or not this video, but go to the Motorsport Elise. All right, now we are on to the Motorsport Elise. This is a great car, looks great. I got it in red in this round. I don't know, it's always, I think I want it. You win it somewhere, I don't remember where you win it. But this is a great car, sounds good. Um, is a little bit more powerful, fully tuned compared to the Elise 190, but it still is in that similar category of a very lightweight, very uh, kind of out of control, slidey car, but fun to drive and kind of fun to look at too. This car looks really great just kind of toys with that it might be a race car, but it's kind of not, it, it, they're thinking about it, you know? And they've always kind of made the Motorsport at least to be this kind of weird hybrid of two different ideas of how to, uh, is it a motorsport, is it a race car? Is it a ra rally car? Is it a road car? What is it? No one really knows, but it's a really good car, very fun. Ultimately, I would say that this car is way better than the Elise 190, but I think there's a lot to be said for the Elise 190 because the Elise 190 is way less powerful than this car and this car seems to have a little bit more of a turbo lag i'm noticing just as i see it driving there so you know that could you could do some gear ratio shifting to make that be better the handling is obviously going to be better with the motorsport elise and you'll see that with the ai the AI agree with this as well in a little bit and um this car does sound really good it doesn't quite sound the same it's got a little bit more of a different sound i don't i wouldn't i don't know how to define the sound but it kind of reminds me of like I don't know if the sound actually is the same, but it reminds me of the GT1 cars that were in uh, Grand Turismo 2, the Elise and the Esprit. They had like GT versions of cars in that game, and then they never brought them back, which was such a bummer, you know? But um, yeah, the Elise, Motorsport Elise is gonna have way more handling. Um, I think its turbo lag is much worse. The uh, Because it's a turbocharged car, I don't think the Elise 190 actually is turbocharged. I don't remember now, but uh, this car is way better, way have, has much better grip, way better handling. Still slides because it's a Lotus, and Lotuses tend to do this. A lot of British cars don't seem to have the handling in this game. It's just another video for another time. But uh, yeah, it's just a lot of fun. These uh, little rival series videos are really fun to make. I really enjoy them. Um, yeah, so it's a good time. Um, yeah, so... This car, I think, is going to be way better, but I think it's more fun to drive the car that's the, like, kind of slidey one, in my opinion. I think it's just because I've played so much Gran Turismo 3. I feel like it would be, I mean, this is my my usual theme for when I play through these types of uh, games, it just, which is have fun, drive the safer car first, and then have fun driving the kind of wilder car after you kind of get the hang of the class that you're talking about. So that's kind of what I do with these videos. It's like, usually there's one car that's like the powerful, uh, more efficient use of power, bad handling car, and there's the usually the safer one that has better handling and is a little bit more touchy and easier to control and all that stuff. And so I feel like in this situation, this is one of the kind of uh, this is similar to the one from a couple weeks ago with the Chaser and the GTR Island Roco road car. It's like some cars are just gonna be a little bit better and that's just fine. Like they didn't just make every single rival series thing exact. Like a lot, a lot of them do. But I was like, as I've been going through this, I'm like, sometimes they just put similar cars together, but they're not exactly there. So we'll finish up this. 
do the AI video, and then we'll do a max speed test as well. So thank you all so much for watching. Um, it's a good time. Great to play through this game, and the AI race will be fun. So, y'all are great. Peace.